Hello. Welcome to TV room. Room, room, room. David Bradley here. I'm going to change this program slightly. I'm going to say a dollar sign, which means string, equals, quote, world of Commodore with a space, quote, done. And there I have a string is equal to world of Commodore. So then I'm going to go over and edit this, wipe out most of this stuff, bring it back, and put in print a dollar sign with a semicolon. And when I type run, guess what? It's going to do it. This is the a the, the variables like this a string are good if there's something you want to do a number of times in a program instead of having to tell to print world of commodore over and over like as in say i was writing a long program and you know maybe a, every page at the top it would come and say world of commodore update well i don't have to do that like that i don't have to do it every time that takes up a lot of memory so you can turn it into a variable with a string that's an alphanumeric thing, in quotes. And then you've got it. So that anytime you want it, you can say print a string, and it will. This saves memory. Now, see, way back when, especially with the 8K pets and the, the tiny little Vic 20s, you had to guard every byte. You did. Of course, if I press the control key, it'll slow down. So, if you wanted a numeric variable, that would just be a. And not A, like the Canadian A, E, H, just A. But you can pick all kinds of letters. Because lots of programs have lots of variables. And that's just the way it is. Thanks for coming. See you at the World of Commodore. Bye for now.